Hello YouTube. As of today, I can ship to the United States of America again. So I don't know how long it's gonna last this time. But if you want to order something, please go ahead either directly from me or through my Tindy store. And uh, let's uh, uh, don't let this opportunity pass by because uh, I don't know how long. So anyhow, last time it, I don't even remember how long I could ship to the United States before it got cancelled again. But as I said, as of today, I was checking two or three times a day, actually even more often than that. And so I can ship to the United States again. And I also want to thank you to thank my eight Patreons. I will, I will do it at the beginning of the video because I know nobody's watching till the end. So I want to get that out and also appreciate all this, uh, I was going to say supply, uh, all the support on uh, Banggood purchases uh, through the affiliate links. Um, that helps also a little bit. So thank you for that. And uh, I also wanted to show you another update to my uh, heads can gauge. Now I got the name finally, not mini, not maxi, not nothing. Heads can gauge. So I did receive the Bluetooth modules I was waiting for. And now my gauge has Bluetooth capability. Um, I did try before to upload code through Bluetooth to the 328, which worked. Um, but using the same application on my phone, uploading to the 1284, which the uh, head scan gauge is using, uh, it uh, stops working. It crashes midway uploading. So I don't know why that is, and I have to figure that out. But meanwhile, I did add some other features to it. Um, first, let me tell you something real quick. Uh, I have this uh, USB adapter to the Bluetooth. It's the same Bluetooth module, as you can see. It uses the same chip. Um, I had to change the baud rate to 12, uh, 112, 500. Or oh, is it 115 200? <laughs> I almost mixed those up. Let me check real quick. 115 200. So, because these modules come with a 9600 baud, and you have to change them so you can upload code to the 328. I tried that, it does work. Uh, just in this particular case, uh, I'm not there yet. So, um, well, since I did this uh, like three months ago or even more, I forgot all about updating the uh, baud rate to the higher baud rate and soldered this thing in place. It's in here. And what do you know? I could, of course, not uh, use it to upload code. But then I figured out the way I have it in the schematic uh, this is the USB adapter I'm using, there's one right there, right now connected. Uh, if I use it as is on the connecting port, I can talk to the 1284. And if I reverse TX and RX on through wire jumpers on the USB connector, I can directly talk to the USB chip. So I was gonna... Uh, desolder it and had to make a jig for it to upload code and whatnot. I mean to change the baud rate, but I did not luckily did not have to do it So just by flipping RX and TX around I can talk to the module directly and then I could change its name and baud rate and whatnot so now even if there's uh, something going on later on I can do that I can change the uh, parameters of this Bluetooth module by just, as I said, reversing TX and RX. So that was a, a big lucky day or lucky 
uh, thing that happened that I could do that. So obviously, if I talk to the Bluetooth, it has uh, re it does reset the chip, so that all works. And meanwhile, I did edit the code to show me the speed and RPM on my phone. So right now I could just actually make a simple app uh, with uh, Blink for example. I don't know, I never, I never did it before. Uh, and if anybody has ideas, I'm open for suggestions. Uh, I could make an app. Uh, actually, I would like to have small widgets that you could put on your screen. Obviously, Android only, I guess, because uh, um, as you know, iOS is pretty strict on Bluetooth, so you cannot do as much as you would like to. So right now, for example, hold on, let me switch to the speed. Let me hold the serial monitor and of course I can talk still to the serial monitor and here you can see I can change the speed. This is in kilometers and if I switch to miles per hour it does switch as well, obviously. So if I would have a small widget on the Android app on the phone, I could show, I mean any, whatever I show here I could show on the widget itself it could be a single widget showing whatever is on here because hold on a second let me do this again so right now it's uh, speed and if I switch to the RPM screen as you see 2240 it does show on here so I can right now use any Bluetooth terminal app on the phone to see the exact uh, screens exact values of course I can write whatever I want to it and uh, use it there so as I said I could make a small widget maybe preferably that looks like the heads can gauge and um, have that change the screen according to what is shown here so you would have that uh, wirelessly as well it might come in handy if you're outside of the car in the engine compartment and you need to check something voltage or rpm or whatever obviously not speed unless you're sitting in the boot <laughs> um, so that is my idea i'm also working of course to trying to find another app uh, since uh, I don't think I will be able to fix the app that I was gonna use uh, I might write the developer and ask him as to why it does crash because I did as I said tried it on the 328 and it was a long uh, hex file as well so uh, there is no difference in that um, if I can fix that, I will be able to supply Bluetooth as an option and then you could just uh, easily upload other uh, CAN gauge codes to it or upload the PID scanner for example so you can scan in your car exactly and know which PIDs your uh, car does support and once you let me know that uh, I can uh, fix the code for you or change it or edit it uh, so far what I did is uh, Did send the customer a USB adapter like this, but then he had to unscrew the back plug it in Upload the PID scanner code Let me know and then uh, upload the regular code again uh, Obviously he had either to take the well to Scan the PIDs you have to have it in your car and you have to have a phone with you Right now I can do the scanning and see the PIDs on my phone. So it is a big help and it has uh, a lot of options. Uh, I could do data logging over Bluetooth while the CAN gauge is running. I could do that as well. I mean, uh, it did open quite a few possibilities with uh, just a tiny module like this. Uh, this is an older module. It is not uh, BL uh, 4.0 or even higher. 
uh, it is a SPP uh, standard. Uh, those do support longer transmissions without cutting the transmission in pieces and sending them like that. Uh, like the low, 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 um, low power Bluetooth modules, that's what they do. They cut up the, what it was, text or data you want to send, they cut it in pieces and send it in short bursts. That way they can reduce the power consumption. This one can do it all in one piece and uh, it does use a little more current but I mean this is plugged in, it's not battery powered so I'm not worried about that. Um, yes, this was it, the update to my heads cam gauge. I have more updates coming up and but the main reason for this video was uh, that I can ship to the United States again. So if you want something, please let me know, get in touch with me and I'll get back to you. Thanks for watching and take care everybody.